Yeah. Our array, is, the, the array is a multi-radio device, and the way I generally describe it to, you know, network architecture type people is the, it's basically a layer two device, look at it, look at it like a switch, yeah. but instead of wired ports, it has radios. Yeah. So there is no central controller in which all of the data has to flow through. It's distributed like a switched architecture. Yeah. But then we do have a management system right. that manages all of that from policies. And we've just inter introduced, we're doing a deep packet inspection right. um, with the Vineyard Sarah uh, product line. So we'll, we'll gather all that statistical data sure. from applications. We can filter on it, you know, basically just say, uh, yeah, we're going to let you do BitTorrent while you're here on the wireless, but we're going to rate limit it to maybe 10 megs over the entire venue or yeah. no more than a meg as you as a sure. client on a on an array so the uh, and you're doing that on a it's on an ip you're doing that on a mac device by device yeah. basis yep. now how do you because i know for this network here and we'll talk about that in a second there's this byod onboarding but how are you fingerprinting devices uh other than just mac addresses which you know somebody like me we could spoof easily enough right well, it's uh, the, the, the onboarding, and I don't know if you've experienced, you know, tried I, it. I did. It was pretty easy on the right. iOS side. Android, I, ha I don't know. I had some trouble with the client certificate, but that could just be my Android device. Yeah, Android's a little bit tough, and, it's, it's and what, what we're doing with that is you obviously uh, experience you hit the, the onboarding SSID, yeah. and you either plug in an email, send yourself a text message, yeah. you know, use uh, Facebook, whatever else we have on there at this point. We've been experimenting with a few different things. But that is providing as secure as wireless as you can provide today. The, the encryption of the link, obviously, is WPA2. That's yeah. as best we're going to get today with what we have. And then we're using ETLS, right. which requires a certificate on the server side and on the client side. So and as part of that onboarding yeah. process, we're actually using your email address or phone number or whatever it is your piece of information you're yeah. giving us. And we're actually pushing a client-side certificate down to you. We're making it that simple. I mean, most yeah. people, that's their big... Sure. So big it, with ETLS like that, then the keys are not shared, right? Right. So that's the magic. So there's no yes. shared keys, so nobody can right. sniff, even right. you sitting here in the knot. Right. Even if you wanted to be man in the middle here, okay. during that onboarding process, have that right now. There are eight radios that are sectorized directional radios. Yeah. Every every radio in here, software programmable to either be a 2.4 radio or a 5 gig radio. Simultaneous? No, not simultaneous. So it's one or, it's, either or? Yeah, either okay. or. Yep. But for example, say that you want to have three 2.4 radios on this today because yeah. you still have a lot of 2.4 clients yeah. in your network. Two years from now, if we move more and yeah. more to five gig, you can just software change those to five yeah. gig. What's the model number on this one? This array here is a XR4830. And this is what's deployed throughout the show? Yes, yes. Got this it. is what's deployed throughout the show. And if I remember the... correctly, uh, this is a Linux based underneath. That you it is a Linux on based underneath. Good. Yep. Network. And this kind of gives you, this is the dashboard of the overall network. I'll kind of pull it up here. Now, this I is, see you've got a local address here because that's the 4.5 series. So you're running off a server that's here in the yep, north? Yep, yep. This is running on uh, VMware. This is actually a VM. Uh, we have what, uh, from Xeris, we have uh, for our management software, we offer uh, a hardware appliance or yep. we virtualize that appliance. The, the right. Core, um, core OS of that is, is Linux, and that's what we're running here for yeah. the show is, is the VM. And what this gives you, this gives you the, you know, this is the 10,000 foot view of sure. showing you we have 26 arrays. We're using 26. So that's 26 arrays across the three floors? Yes. Yep. We're, we're right at a million square feet of coverage with 26 devices. I did so, yeah. And, we'll, we'll, and you can see this, this unique number. That's Within the past 24 hours, hours we've seen 1,632 unique MAC addresses oh, have, at I some have. point in that 24-hour period yeah. that have used the wireless network. Now, this is across okay. the regular yeah. interop, internet, interop onboarding, and interop onboard yes. secure. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's everything. And I'll show you, you know, down here, so you can kind of get an idea. We watch this, break it out by SSID, so you can start to see 
Interop. There's 431 devices on Interop on that open. We've seen 13 onboarding. Right now we've got 15, 15 uh, on the secure. Here again, that's a 24 hours. Sure. So if we saw, you know, some of those 1632 could have already hit the onboarding, got their certificate, and now they're just using using the uh, BYOD secure. Right. Now, when we're talking about the total number of access points that are deployed this year, is that because uh, I know this is not your first year doing this? Yeah, no, you know, it's my sixth year. So, is this more or less APs than prior years, or is it similar, or the same? Pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same. We yeah. found a recipe that works in this particular facility yeah. and, and meets meets the need. We have, you know, we're starting to see, and I keep stats from year to year to year of what yeah. the what the high water marks are, and I get information from UBM to track sure. the num the, you know, the seats and the classes and, and yeah. try to take the data from what we learned this year to make sure we're right-sizing. Yeah. And we may shift things around a little bit just due to the way the, yeah. know, the classes are because some classes will grow, some will shrink. And sure. Um, now, in terms of total concurrent, max concurrent that you're expecting over four days, right now you're at 1,600. Would you expect that's going to hit 5,000, 10,000? Yeah, we'll, we'll, I mean... In, in or off over time, you know, we either kind of breathes, grows, and shrinks a little bit, yeah, yeah. depending on the year. But we've seen as high as, I think the high number sticks in my head, a little over 13,000 unique MAC addresses. Yeah, that's a lot of MAC addresses. Um, and then from a IPS uh, security perspective, let's say I booted up a rogue access point now. I'm not saying I ever would do that. Let's say I ran Karma or something like that to try and spoof your access point. How is that going to show up, and how are you going to boot me off really fast? Well, I will, you know, I can set some threat detections uh, side of things, but if, if you start to, uh, if I see you spoofing something, yeah. I want to see this, and I'll get an email that's going to alarm me what's, you know, what's going on, and I can set some, uh, some rules to quite, you know, thwart you as best we can with what we have, in, sure. you know, in wireless. I mean, it's a... The air is the open medium, so there's only so much you can yeah, can, yeah. can do. But I would get an if you you set that up and spoof my SSID, I would pick that up because each each one of the arrays has a monitor radio in it. That's a right. dedicated monitor radio. Yeah. So I'm basically hitting every channel, every channel every 12 seconds. So long story short, if there's a rogue IAP, you're going to know about it. Yes. And very quickly. Yep. That's great. just so that I'm also clear because I, I think it's always amazing how. Uh, one human can control so much. So across all those 26 arrays, you are the only Xeris engineer, or do you have? It's, I am the only Xeris engineer here, and I. So have, if the Wi-Fi network is good, everyone should be thankful to you. And if it goes down, then they should yeah, say bad things. I refer to it as you go. you you can go from hero to zero in a millisecond. There you go. <laughs> well, I hope it's a, a very long millisecond. And, and the other the other side, I will say to deploy. To, to deploy these 26 arrays, it's been me and, and two of the ITMs. So there's really been a yeah. total of uh, three of us been able to deploy the wireless piece of the network in literally an eight-hour period of time to bring yeah. it up to serve, you know, yeah. 10, you know, 10 12,000 attendees.